This video will discuss the utility of passive leg raising to identify fluid responsiveness in patients with shock. Again, we want to answer the question, is my patient volume responsive? Or, where are they on the Frank-Starling curve? We'll start with discussing what is a passive leg raise. If we have a patient laying in a hospital bed, they could be on any point of the Frank-Starling curve. By adjusting the bed so as to make the patient completely supine and elevating the legs at least 30 to 45 degrees, we cause a shift of intravascular volume from the legs into the thorax. This increases cardiac preload, and if we can measure the effect on stroke volume, we can determine where the patient is on the Frank Starling curve. You can consider this to be like an intrinsic 500 cc fluid bolus with the advantage of being completely reversible in case it does not increase cardiac output. It's important to note that no aspect of a passive leg raising maneuver tests cardiac output, so an extrinsic test needs to be applied. If the patient is connected to a cardiac output monitor, as discussed in previous videos, a 10% increase in stroke volume or a decrease in stroke volume variability is both sensitive and specific for a fluid responsive patient. For patients not connected to a cardiac output monitor, or her not eligible to use criteria of a cardiac output monitor, the arterial line tracing can indicate an increase in pulse pressure of greater than 9%, which is also sensitive specific. Finally, if all we have is a blood pressure cuff, this can still be helpful, and an increase of the systolic blood pressure of greater than 17% is 99% specific for our fluid responsive patient. So we can use multiple tools to measure the patient's response to the passive leg raise. In summary, passive leg raise is an effective maneuver to determine volume responsiveness. It has advantages of not requiring mechanical ventilation, as well as being accurate independent of arrhythmia. However, the passive leg raise is only a physiologic maneuver, and we still need extrinsic measurements to determine the patient's response. This includes cardiac output monitors and or other monitors. Finally, passive leg raise can be invalid in patients with severely increased abdominal pressure or severe hypovolemia as the fluids may not effectively shift or there may be insufficient fluid to shift from the leg compartment to the thoracic compartment.